Hey guys, so I already started with my eyes primed and my eyebrows and off camera. Now I'm going in with my um, Juvia's Place palette. This is the Festive by Juvia's Place. And I'm taking that orange color, it's called Ophelia, Ophala. And I'm putting that all over my lid. Um, it was, I, I had too much concealer on my eyes at that point. So it was kind of a little bit too sticky. Which I didn't realize that because honestly, normally I don't use my Maybelline concealer to prime my eyes. Um, but this time I did and yeah, I put way, way too much. Um, so the brush is kind of wet when it's doing that. Um, so in a second, you're going to see me switch brushes and get a little bit more color. Yep. There we go, we switch brushes. The brush that I was using previously was actually also by Juvia's Place. Um, I don't remember what brush that is, but the other one that I'm using now is just a BH Cosmetic brush. They don't have a number for the brush, so I'm sorry guys. I like brushes, I don't really have, um, I should say, I don't really care what they are. If it's a small brush, I can use it for my lid. I use it for my lid. I don't really care what the brushes' names are. Now I'm going back in that palette. And I'm taking that kind of blue, um, bluish green color, and it's called Aba. And I'm putting that in the crease of my eyes. I have hooded eyes, so my crease is. I don't have a lot, a lot of um, lid space or to make. So I have to bring my eyeshadow up a little bit more. So that ABBA, I'm putting it in my crease because, guys, I think I'm going to tempo cut crease, but <laughs> I don't know. I've been feeling at these. I don't think I have the right product to cut my crease. I am new. I'm kind of, I actually have to say, yes, I am new to makeup in a sense because I didn't start doing my makeup till later on in life. Some girls started way early. I was not one of those people. So I'm still learning about how to do makeup and do shadows so i'm using back that same bh cosmetic brush and i'm trying to blend everything together um yeah so now i'm taking my maybelline concealer and it is in the color uh golden dory and i am gonna try to carve out just a little bit off my um lid so i can apply my shimmer shadow to it and that's the maybelline age rewind concealer i love 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 that concealer when i started using it i've been hooked on it ever since so now i'm just looking to see if i actually like how it looks um, before I apply my um, shadow now I was going to take the Yuli in also the festive palette but I did not like how it looked um, so I actually got my uh, shimmer that uh, my shimmer from uh, that's I think it was LA girl because I have had that shimmer for a long long time it really was cheap I picked it up from the Dollar Tree and yeah, I love that concealer ever since that that shimmer shade, and I've had that gold forever. Um, I'm going to go and see if I when I go back to the dollar store if they have these still because they are so 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 pigmented and they last a very long time. You get a lot in that little small thing, and for a dollar, you can't beat that. So I rather the shimmer, and I loved how it looked. Um, the Juvia Festive palette does have a shimmer in it, but I didn't want to use it because I wanted a really pigmented look. And I think that I thought that the um, the LA girl could give me that. So what am I doing next? Sorry. Oh yeah. Um, so I this is gonna cut off and switch to me already having my lashes on because i did the other eye off camera and on my brow bone right there which i did not show is actually the yuli that's in the palette so i'm using a wipe to wipe my face which i always do to get off any excess dirt or anything even though i cleanse my face before you never know so you always want to take something a wipe and get it all that off 
again so i'm drinking a lot of water i'm trying to drink a gallon of water guys you need to stay hydrated i am a new mom again and i am trying to stay hydrated because i have chopped lips so i'm using my jamaican black castor oil to actually put on my lips to moisturize and i'm being honest with you ever since i started drinking a lot more water i have been so 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 um hydrated that my lips are not chapped anymore which is weird for me and i'm taking my radiant permanent serum you guys see me use this in my last makeup tutorial well every makeup tutorial that i've done so far and i'm just putting that in it has hydrochloric acid in it which is really really good um I honestly I can't remember what the benefits are from it but it actually helps mattify my skin out and it does help with like this to, to even out my pores they're really good normally I would spray um, my rose water but I didn't this time because I was using milk of magnesia um, this was my trick however I got the wrong milk of magnesia normally you want to get the original kind not this one that has a strawberry in it however this one does work too except it doesn't dry white and matte like the original one this one actually gets sticky and tacky so when you apply your makeup with this one it is good but i like the dry one the original one because i used that one yesterday when i went on the road and it and i was sweating like crazy it was so hot but it my makeup did not move it did not smudge it did not look watery my body was sweating but not my face my face stayed put girl so you want to use the other one you're gonna see me actually looking like i'm crazy because i'm like why is it not turning white and then i looked at the bottom and realized oh crap i have the wrong one so a girl was gonna sit there and look crazy now like what the heck is going on but yeah it turns out and it was actually it made my face feel a really like stiff in a sense which the other one does but not like that the other one just dries and you feel that dry and matte feel and don't get the one with the mint don't do that get the original kind or get the strawberry one because you don't really see it now i'm taking my remo stay matte foundation in 503 mocha so i was mixing the 502 and the 504 together and then i'm like wait a minute why am i doing that when there's a shade in between that so i got the 503 uh it's okay i think me i may rotate going back and forth to actually mix in those shades and this and using this one by itself so I'm taking my beauty blender, it's my Real Techniques beauty blender, and I'm just stippling that out. As you know, I don't swipe my makeup, I stipple it in. I like the Remo Mousse foundation because it actually, I don't know, I feel like it gives you this really good coverage. I, that's just my opinion. That's to me. That's like the best drugstore makeup so far for me. Um, I really like um, Maybelline's foundations and all that, but it's really watery, and I don't like that. I like moussey type foundation. I don't know. I feel like just because it gives me a fuller coverage, I don't need necessarily need full coverage. At times, I don't. But after becoming a mom, seems lately like I feel like I have been breaking out, and I don't know what's going on. Um, so I have a lot of spots that I recently need to cover up. So I like full face foundation. So I'm just stippling that in and you want to do this padding motion the whole time. Do not drag it because your face will have streak marks on it. Never drag your foundations. Even your water based foundations, your liquid based foundation, I should say, do not drag them. Use your brush and stipple it in. And I suggest for your found your water based foundation, don't really use a beauty blender unless it works well for you. I suggest you use a brush and stipple it in because a brush is so, so much better. Um, and it doesn't soak up as much product. Like if you, for me, the um, beauty blender takes up a lot of product when I'm using liquid, but it works great for mousse foundation. I will not use a brush for my mousse foundations because honestly it takes way too much product up and I it doesn't look right and I, I'm using way too much product if I'm using mousse um, using a brush to apply my mousse foundation so I am going in between my bridge of my nose and just making sure that because I have so much crease underneath my eyes and again I have small eyes um, 
it is I have a lot of wrinkles right there. I don't know why, but I do and I'm young. <laughs> I am 20 something young. Not telling you I'm close to 30, but no no I'm not giving away my age. Um I have wrinkles right there. Not big wrinkles, but small wrinkles because my eyes are so small. And yeah, you need to blend that out. So I'm going in with my Adri Wine concealer in Golden Dory I said before. And I'm putting that right underneath my eyes. Yep, but again, obviously, you make sure you want to blend everything out. Make sure everything looks the way you want it to before you start applying any concealer. Get all those little spots and stuff. And if you see me talking in this video, I'm actually talking to my husband who's dealing with my daughter running back and forth <laughs> and driving him crazy. And he's <laughs> driving him crazy. But at least he kept her away from all my stuff. Actually, I think right here, she's actually in between my <laughs> where i'm at but down below you can't see her like literally she's underneath my boobs playing with my makeup and stuff so yep and you wind it up and you apply it that's the next thing that i should remember mention in the last video i should i didn't i don't i don't know if i remember mentioning or not but with the age rewind concealer literally it's real you gotta wind it up and that part can become annoying but after a while you get used to it it's not that bad so i'm putting a nice even coverage what i think i'm gonna like and putting on my bridge of my nose on my um chin and on my forehead and I'm going to go back with my Beauty Blender, which is the Real Technique Beauty, Beauty, Beauty Blender. And I am blending that, out, blending that out. So now I'm looking up when I am applying my concealer because, as I said before, I have wrinkles underneath my eyes. And I have to look up to in order to get it in all that crease area. So if you look up when you're applying your concealer, you can actually get a better get in there better Nor now normally i would apply that part with either a smaller brush or a smaller beauty blender because i have a few smaller beauty blender and those work great to blend out underneath my eyes because my eyes are so small that yeah i have an issue with it but and that sometimes i feel like the real sexy beauty blender is too small too big i should say for my eyes so one side is a bit um brighter than the other side so i went back in and get some more concealer put right there yep to get it to even out because you don't want one side looking a lot more <laughs> flawless than the other side i mean sometimes it happens with shadows and lashes we all know that girl one side always comes out better than the other don't know why but that's just how the world works the world isn't even i should say that's what someone said to me once don't know if that's true or not we just we're just going to repeat what people say like it's like it's facts Seems like that's been social media and life lately for some reason. Now I'm blending out my my chin because I'm trying to give myself like a reverse contour. Cause I don't put the dark um, contour on my face um, because honestly I've never been able to blend those out really well. So I've just actually just um, put my concealer and then use powder to contour my face so blend out my my um forehead and i already blended out my nose now i'm gonna set that with my maybelline fit me powder and it's in this um color medium deep 30. i love my fit me powder powder and i'm taking another beauty blender don't know where this one is from i got it for christmas i got a crap ton of them for christmas and i'm using a dry beauty blender oh forgot to tell you i use the wet beauty blender to apply my foundation and a damp beauty blender i should say to also apply my concealer but i'm using a dry beauty blender to apply my um setting powder and i'm putting that right underneath my um on top of my eyelid underneath my eyes on my cheeks and i'm making sure i look up when i apply that on my chin on the bridge of my nose and on my forehead look up also when you are applying your setting powder it it sets there really 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 well and i'm using the tip of that also to get where my crease are really good because where your wrinkles are when your makeup starts to shift it's gonna look crazy 
Again, drinking water, keeping yourself hydrated is key. I have my water in front of me, but I can't take a sip because obviously I'm doing this voice over and that just will sound cray cray. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going, what am I doing? I can't, listen, when I do my makeup, I'm all over the place. I'm going back into that shadow brush, my pal, I should say, but I do this place, the festive, and I'm using the ABBA again to go underneath my eye and i do this when i have on setting powder because then if anything fall out you can just brush it away and you won't have a problem so i'm using that color because honestly with you guys i don't use um we call those pencils underneath my eyes because it runs and my eyes get watery and I've never been able to like keep it there because it always seems to run by the end of the day. But eyeshadows don't move. So if you're a person who, if you put, um, use an eye um, a, a eyeliner pencil and it runs, I suggest you use a dark eyeshadow or use any color eyeshadow that you would like and put and it doesn't move. Now, I should have brightened that up a little bit more, but I liked what it looked like in person. But I realized on camera that it's not showing as bright as I wanted to, so I probably should have, like, brightened it out more. And I'm taking my, um, what do you, what's that called? Jeez Louise. You know what I mean. That thing. Ah. <sighs> Lash, like, um, thingy, majiggy, whatever. And I'm going underneath. I don't remember what this one is called, but I keep the, keep it for the applicator brush, not necessarily for it itself, because I use it for something else. I'm going to my Pro Fusion um, contour palette, and I'm using the darkest color in there to contour my cheeks. As I said before, I don't use liquid, so I just put that so it, on there so it looks really, really good um, without even using the we call it the liquid um, dark contour and I'm just kind of a little bit dragging it I'm not trying to drag it all the way down and I'm putting it um, close to my forehead to give it like this nice little definition to not make my face look just kind of too too light and I'm putting it right underneath my chin right there to kind of just like shape my face out a little bit more and now I'm taking a brush I don't remember what the brush is called and I'm gonna wipe away all the access and again as I said before my daughter is right where my legs are so I'm having a conversation with her while I'm doing that oh no sorry I'm actually gonna go into the palette again my profusion palette um, contour palette and I'm using the second to darkest shade to put on my nose because the darker one would be just way too harsh and I'm just using that to just kind of shape out. And then I'm using my finger to rub it out because I thought it was a little bit too, too harsh. So that's another thing. You can use your fingers to blend that out if it's too harsh and if there's too much product on the brush, which it was. And now I'm using that that brush. I got this brush from Tar TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx actually has a lot of nice brushes and stuff. And they are for cheap. So if you are looking for brushes and you like brushes like me, go to TJ Maxx. They actually have good, a um, good makeup section too, because they keep they carry Anastasia, Beverly Hills. So they got some good stuff going on over at TJ Maxx. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me. It's in the color 360, and it's the Matte Poreless Powder. And I'm putting that all over my face as my all-over face powder. I love this. I picked this up the other day. Because I was like, oh, I never tried Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. Let me try this. Let me see what it's all about. So, yeah, I picked that up the other day. And I'm going down underneath my neck because I put um, foundation there. Again, always remember to bring foundation down on your neck. So, I am also putting my matte poreless um all over face butter on there yep see I'm may look like I'm giving my husband a dirty look but I promise you I'm not it's just my daughter's acting crazy so I'm using my heroin glow um, by glow one by Juvia's place and that's what I'm using for my highlight on my cheekbones I love this glow honestly I just ugh, I don't know it, it, I, I, I am a glow person. I love to put that on my cheekbone to give me a nice, nice um, 
bright highlight right there i'm telling you it is that nice nice gold and i was like oh i need to add more i keep, need to add more be very careful when adding this because you can overdo it and i overdid it but then i'm a person who likes to overdo uh, i like to overdo some stuff so it's it was fine i'm putting it on the tip of my um, right at the top of my lip on my nose bridge and on my forehead You don't need to put it on your forehead your nose bridge is fine, but then again as you know I am extra so I extra did it Yeah For no reason that's that's just me You don't got to do what I do girl do what makes what do what works for you now I'm using my rose water to set my face and then I'm going over that with my setting my my setting spray and it's the get locked made up makeup setting spray and this is the femi um couture and honestly I got it from Sally Beauty Supply Store so you can find it at Sally Beauty Supply Store um, but then again you can also use the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder the setting spray they have it in matte I think they had a dewy kind. I'm not sure, but you can find those. Those are fine too. Find a drugstore makeup and that works. That's drugstore makeup, but you don't need that one. That one was not worth it. Now I'm taking my pencil, um, and it's in brown. I don't remember where I got this. Actually, I got this from like the dollar store, but I don't remember what the brand is. And I'm just um, carving out my lips um, to make them very defined, so I I have a good outlined when I put on my lipstick and I'm rubbing my lips together because I I had already put my Jamaican black castor oil on my lip to moisturize so I kind of give you this really good slip so when you rub your lips together it gives this like it rubs um it smooths out your um lip liner so it's not so dark and harsh and I'm using I was gonna use this kind of purple color from Victoria's Secret but instead I went in with another color from Victoria's Secret and that color is actually what is it let me see if I can find it I don't know what the color is but it's kind of like this it's just it's just a cream lip stain that's all it says I don't know what the color was but it's like this really nice nuded one and I love 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 this this is my go um Go to one. It was like for fourteen dollars, but they had them on sale. So you know, if they had them on sale, a girl had to cop a couple of them, and I've been using them ever ever since. Yep. And then I'm gonna go over that with a lip gloss that I got from. Where did I get this? From also Sally Beauty Supply, and it's in the brilliant. What's it called? It's the. Polydido? I don't know what the name of this is. Go to um, Sally Beautiful Supply. You find it's in the. It's called Herbal Lip Gloss, and it was made in Canada. Oh, did not even know that. But it's nice. It's like this pinky color, and yeah, and that's what the lips look like, and that's what the look look like, guys. Tell me what you think of it. I think I did okay. I mean, I like it. I like it. it works for me. Um, as I said, I'm new to this makeup thing, so like, comment, share, subscribe, and until next time, this is your girl Tashina Beauty. Love you guys. Stay around, watch my affordable wig series, watch my makeup tutorial. Bye.